Hey, my name is Mary Smith, and I am a teacher at Carolina High School. I did my submitted my best in network projects um, for my economics class. A uh, driving question was how can I become financially independent? And in this project, the authentic and real world situ uh, situations problems is um, having students be able to become financial literacy or financially literate um, for whatever career path that they choose, college, trade, um, job force, making sure that they're prepared and uh, to make those financial decisions and having a firm understanding of that. So this covers standard two in South Carolina standards for economics, which is to demonstrate an understanding of how scarcity and choice influence individual financial decisions. Uh, this whole project was driven and aligned with the standard and indicators um, about personal income, the different types of or different components of financial literacy, um, and the personal finance strategy, um, and just seeing how their individual decisions impact their finances. So what their final product was, um, was that students created a financial literacy portfolio um, that all had different components to help demonstrate that they were becoming financially independent and financially literate. So the very first thing we did, and it was part of our project launch, was that they did a career pathway um, from mynextmove.org. They took an interest survey and were given different career and jobs based on that survey that they had. And they got to do this twice. One round they chose uh, a type of education level in the second round they chose a different uh, education level to see kind of the difference uh, in careers and uh, salary based on their interest after that they chose their career pathway that they wanted to focus on for this project uh, based on their salary which they were able to see locally in the area through the website and also the job outlook uh, they chose their career and got their uh, salary um, to complete this whole project. This whole project was driv driven based on their career choice. And with that, the first component was that they actually created their own pay stub. And um, each component had a reflection portion. They had to present each of these components to their parents. Uh, that was a part of the end product was the portfolio. They had to present it to their parents. And their parents had a parent feedback form where they graded um, the students based on how well they thought that they were answering questions, which is what their oral communication interaction with audience uh, was. They had to submit a 30 second video of one of the components, them answering a question that their parents had at the end of each section after their parents graded uh, how their uh, child was answering the questions and demonstrating mastery on that area component of financial literacy the parent was able to ask a question to the student and the student had to respond and the first component was they created their own pay stub on the back it was they filled out a w-4 um, to learn about tax withholding and then the second component was a credit card all about credit the cost of borrowing um, looking at mortgages all that stuff and on the back they um, had the had their not their credit report but they uh, showed the components of the credit report and answered how uh, reflects a question based on that then for their third checkpoint it was budgeting um, they did this based on what their uh, salary was um, and did that with their net pay and on the back of that, they did their weekly grocery list and had a reflection question there. Checkpoint four, they got to do their own choice of a topic that they were interested in or uh, a topic that we haven't been able to go over in class just yet that dealt with finance. And a lot of students did scholarships, financial aid, things like that. Um, and based on that, we had a additional workshop on like financial aid and the cost of 
going to college using the simulation payback to show the true cost of decisions when you are doing uh, are pursuing uh, a degree two years four years in state versus out of state and seeing how your decisions can impact your long-term um, college debt and then on the back of that the final one was insurance interview where they interviewed their parents and about the different types of insurance and what they had and some feedback um, then they ended the project with their IAKT was their next steps about um, what next steps that they will need to take to become financially independent um, it could include topics we weren't able ran out of time to cover in class more research on topics we did cover um, etc. Also paired with this unit, we did an Ever5 financial literacy program. That was their homework. And whenever they finished an activity in class, that was what they were working on throughout this project to get even more um, topics and on finance because this was a two-week uh, project to get a lot of topics in. But that was... Um, this project to help address the question, how can I become financially independent? And they demonstrated mastery on the standards and the question by creating this portfolio um, tailored to each individual student uh, career path and goals. They all had different uh, income decisions and choices and uh, they had to demonstrate this by the their portfolio but also having to communicate that with their parents to help open up that dialogue with parents um, about financial literacy so the students can show their parents what they are learning and also get feedback and uh, just opening up the door for conversation and talking about finances with their parents and that is about all thank you so much for listening and looking in and I look forward to hearing back from you guys thank you so much